Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm gonna to show you how I altered a design and created a gingerbread man disguise for my daughter who had a homework project. And this is the design that she came home for, and it did say to complete this project as a family. So between her and I, we discussed our ideas, and she settled on, after going through hundreds, settled on a reindeer. So I wanted to show you how I just used a few of the tools in the Silhouette software to create this reindeer. So the first thing that we did was once she decided that it was going to be a reindeer, we searched the Silhouette Design Store and we looked for reindeer photo props and she settled on this design that is by Santa and Friends Photo Props by Colette Hall. So what we did was I opened up the design in the Silhouette software, so I double clicked on it and it brought in the design. Now, we do not need all the pieces of this, so all I need right now, I'm just gonna move this off, I'm gonna ungroup it, and I'm gonna delete a few things. So this piece comes in as a paper piecing file and I'm going to delete the elf and the Santa hat part and the beard, the bell. I'm going to move over here and delete the white. It's supposed to be the white parts of the Santa hat. I'm going to keep this beard because we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can use that in our design. And then I have my reindeer antlers. I'm going to rotate those around. So they are, I'm using the transform panel and the rotate option. I'm just going to rotate them. I should have hit 180, but rotate them twice, 90 degrees. I move them over here. And then I'm gonna move my little reindeer nose off. Now we can fill each of these pieces with color using the fill color panel on the right hand side. Color only matters when we're doing a print and cut design, but it gives us a great idea of what this is gonna look like. And I'm just gonna fill this beard with white. So what we're gonna do, is this is just a photo over here on the left hand side so I could show you what the project was that she brought home. So she brought me home two pieces of paper that had been photocopied. So what I did was I took this gingerbread man and I put it into my scanner and I scanned the design, which scanned in as a PDF document. So then I opened the PDF document you must have designer edition or higher in the Silhouette software upgrades in order to open a PDF file. So when it comes in, you have two options. You can choose to import as a vector or import as an image. And I just chose import as a vector. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna open this gingerbread man on its own page. When we were creating this, I'm gonna go back here to this previous tab we were on. Once she decided on the reindeer design, she looked at it and she decided that it was a little bit, that he wouldn't have too much of a costume. So she said, what are we gonna do about the rest of it? So I decided we could make the rest of the reindeer costume and that's where this scan comes in. So I scanned it in so that I could trace it and get the original size of this gingerbread man. Now she's cutting out the gingerbread man with her scissors and using her scissor skills. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the trace panel which either looks like a piece of toast or a butterfly, depending on who you are, on the right-hand side. I'm going to click on Select Trace, and then I'm going to get a cursor, and I'm going to drag a square rectangle across the area that I want to trace. When I let go, you're going to see that it pops up as yellow, and what you want when you have a trace is the area that you want traced, you want to have it as yellow as possible, and the yellow as smooth as possible. So the one thing that I usually adjust is the threshold. And so I'm going to adjust the threshold. And I'm going to increase it, watching the edges of my gingerbread man. And I just want the outer edge of my gingerbread man, so I'm not worried about anything on the inside. So right now I'm going to, that looks pretty good. Once I have the threshold, each design that you do is going to be different in how it reacts because every design is different. This is a photocopy that has been put on the copier and copied I don't know how many times. So there are shadows, there are pieces. 
it came through my scanner, so that adds a little aspect to it too. So each design you trace is going to react differently. Once I have all the yellow that I would like, I'm going to click on the trace outer edge because I only need the outer edge of the gingerbread man. You're gonna give your computer a little bit of time to process that. And then I can pull the original design out away from the design mat. And what you'll see is that I have all kinds of little extra artifacts around my design that traced. And that's okay, we can take care of those. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to choose release compound path. And this is going to break my design up into all these little individual pieces. With all these pieces still selected, if I hold my shift key down on my keyboard, I can click on the gingerbread body and it's going to deselect that and keep all the remaining artifacts selected. So I'm going to click the delete key on my keyboard and it's gonna delete all those excess pieces that I don't need. So now I have my gingerbread man and I have the shape that she's going to cut out. I'm going to double click on this gingerbread man and what you're going to see is that there are a lot of data points. And this is another thing when you trace, you're going to have edit points and a trace typically has more edit points than are necessary. It's tracing the exact edge of that yellow. So if your design is pixelated or it is a low resolution image, then you could have a lot of these data points. Um, the edit points, each one, the Cameo has, or the Silhouette Machine when you send it, has to reach each of these edit points when it cuts. So if your cut has a lot of edit points on it, then you could hear that your cutter sounds like it's stuttering when it's cutting, or it could take just a really long time to cut. And I see this often with DXF files or traces of images. So you just wanna keep that in mind. The one thing you can do is you can click on the simplify option and you can see that it simplified all those edit points for me. This is going to give it a little bit cleaner cut when you do it because it doesn't have as many data points that it's having to hit when it goes to cut. So for my project, it's not essential that everything is smooth and even and perfect. Um, you can see in the PDF document on the left-hand side here that it's not a smooth design to begin with. So that's okay. I just want this general shape. So once I got to this point, I told her I was gonna cut the gingerbread he man's head off. So that's what we're going to do next. So I want to take out this head portion of the gingerbread man because I just wanna give his body a costume. There's a couple ways you can do this. So I can start just by pulling my edit points down into my neckline, or I could delete an edit point. I can just select it and click on delete, the delete key on my keyboard, or click on delete point over in the panel. I can hold my shift key down and drag my mouse, left click and drag my mouse across multiple edit points to select multiples, and then I can hit delete and it'll delete them all. And then I can move the neckline down. I can then use the adjustment nodes and I can adjust this design how I'd like it. Again, I don't have to be perfect on this design, but I just want this neckline to come down. So you can see that in a few clicks, I have taken the head out and I've now made it into a neckline. The other thing I can see here is there's no need for these two edit points. I can just click on one and delete it. Same thing over in this left corner. That's gonna simplify the image just a little bit better. If I use the zoom option, we can zoom in here and you can see that I have this little hook. If I double click again, you're gonna see that my edit point has these nodes and I can just bring them down, change them or make it a corner. There's lots of things that you can do with these edit points. 
can see I have a double one here. I don't really need that. You can continue to make changes to your design however you like. But the main thing I wanted was I just wanted to bring that neckline down in here. I can choose make a curve, choose this one to make a curve. That changes that corner, so I don't want to do that. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with this. But the basic thing I wanted to show you was taking the head off and making that neckline. So now I'm going to select my object. I'm going to use the fill color panel and I'm just going to fill it with brown for my reindeer. Now, the next part was my daughter and I discussed that reindeer have a white belly. So I was going to try my hand at using the draw polygon tool on the left hand side. And what this in my head, it turned out a whole lot better than it did on paper. You can just click and drag your mouse. Every time you click, it's going to make a new data point, a new edit point. And you could make your own white portion of your belly. Well, it just didn't look, again, it looked better in my head than it did coming out on paper. So I'm going to delete this. It is an option. You might be a better drawer than I am. So I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to take my beard from the previous file and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it onto my design mat. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna alter this beard how I want it. I'm gonna take the knife tool on the left-hand side hold my shift key down and this will draw a straight line across and I'm going to cut the top of my beard off, the mustache portion of the beard. I'm going to then select this portion. I can move it, but I'm going to delete it because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to take the beard and you can see that I have several edit points right there in the center. If I hold my shift key down, put left click and drag my mouse across. I can select all those date edit points in the middle and click delete. I don't need those. I can make it a straight line. So now I have the white, a white ruffled portion that looks a little bit better than what I drew. I'm gonna bring this over across my gingerbread man and I can resize it to fit across the neckline. And then it's a little short for me, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna make it longer. So I have the white portion of my design. I'm gonna zoom in here. And every time you do a design, it's gonna look, it could look a little bit different. Um, you know, your sizing is gonna be a little bit different unless you copy and paste it exactly from a previous design, every time you do something, you might get a little different result. I can see here that my edges don't line up. This left shoulder is a little lower than the right shoulder of my gingerbread man. So I'm gonna double click on it and I'll bring up the edit points for that brown por portion of it. And I can just bring that down and drop it down in there. So then that drops my shoulder of the reindeer gingerbread man down. And then I can move this down again. It's not, it doesn't have to be a perfect project for this, what I'm doing, but it gives you an idea of how you can create your own designs. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna bring it up and it meets my design. So you can spend all day working with edit points. Now, what you'll see is I don't have the same neckline here on my white portion as I do on the brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out here so you can see. And then I'm going to select both my brown reindeer and my white belly. I'm going to make a copy of that and move it off my mat so I have an original. Then I'm going to select them both again. I'm going to use the modify window on the right hand side, the modify panel. I'm going to choose crop. And what that does is it then crops my white belly portion, 
has now changed brown because brown was the underlying color and it has made the cropped portion out of that neckline. So if I move it over here, we can now use the fill color panel and just change the color back. Now, move my original away and I have a beard or a white be a beard that I have turned into a belly. I'm going to bring that to the front. I right clicked on it and chose bring to front and now I can line those back up. So now I have a reindeer body that we cut out of brown cardstock, a white belly for my reindeer. And if I come back over here, I'm going to grab my reindeer antlers and nose. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to paste them onto my mat. I'm going to zoom back out here and I can bring in my original design. Bring my top layers of my reindeer costume over. And then I can grab my nose and my reindeer, my nose and my reindeer antlers, and I can resize those to fit onto my gingerbread man. Now, what you're seeing on the screen is commonly referred to as a mock up. So you can do it physically on the screen, or you can do it how I did it originally when I made it last night. And I just grabbed my ruler and I measured the top of the gingerbread man's head on the piece of paper. Um, and then I resized it and cut it from there. Either way works well. This way you'll get an idea of what the original design is going to look like. But we used several tools in just creating this design. And we took a Santa props and we used the beard to make a reindeer belly. And we use the antlers and the Rudolph nose in order to create our reindeer costume. So I hope that's helped you get a little more familiar with the software, giving you some ideas of ways you can use designs and the tools in the Silhouette software. The more you play with the Silhouette software, the more you use the tools, the more familiar you're going to be with it. And that's the best way to learn is to play, play, play. I hope you have fun creating your own designs and using these tools in the Silhouette software. Have a great day.